This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Where we want to educate you about our market, empower you to make wise decisions, and help you engage with our expert contributors. I want to talk to Danielle about her segment where we review uh, the progress in our valley with housing over the last week. We, we've done it. We started like back in the 30s, you know, and now we're now we're getting a little closer. Now we're getting into the 80s. Uh, and uh, I know you want to talk about our valley with Danielle. You want to talk about uh, a couple of communities that have actually have water. Have yeah, lakes and man-made stuff. Man-made lakes. Man-made lakes. Tell us about these man-made lakes. What are these communities? Okay, so we're going to be talking about desert shores and the lakes. So both are were built um, mid '80s. So desert shores was built in 1988, and um, it's zip code 89128, and it's located just east of Summerlin North. Mm-hmm. Um, now the lakes that's located east of Summerlin, but Summerlin South. Um, master plan community. It actually has 22 different. Uh, residential districts from condos, townhomes, single family homes to custom. And that's the Desert Shores property. That's the Desert Shores. Mm -hmm. All the lakefront homes have direct access to the lake and an option for private decks, which is nice. Mm -hmm. So tree lined streets, it encompasses 682 acres and it's had, they have four lakes. So what's nice about Desert Shores is they have four lakes and the public has access to them. Mm -hmm. Whereas uh, the lakes, you have to have a home on the lake in order to have access to the lake. So that's a very big difference between between the two. And they have a lagoon-styled swimming pool with beach entry, mm-hmm. palm trees, volleyball courts, basketball courts, playground area, um, picnic tables, uh, geese flying everywhere, and <laughs> feces yeah. everywhere. <laughs> geese poop. Goose, goose poop. Uh, a, a lot of it. How do they build these? Did they, um, who, are they deep? Are they deep lakes? Or are they... No, they're not very deep. That's a good question. I don't they're know. Not very I don't deep. know how deep they would be, but I mean, deep enough to fish. Deep enough for to catch fish. and release. And they right. have and they have electric boats. They're, they don't allow right. they don't allow gas no powered gas power. no, no okay. gas powered boats on there, but they do have electric boats on the on the, both of them. Both of them. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you could from the dock you could paddleboard and you can uh, fish and release, but you have to be a resident. Mm-hmm. And what's interesting is that the security or the patrol will stop people and ask for your card. And so you have to be a resident within that community or they will kick you out. You have to be a card-carrying member. So they have a 21,000-square-foot clubhouse, and they offer a, a very nice social calendar. Um, they have, like, a 23-page uh, um, magazine every month. Nice. So I thought that was interesting. It's, it's very recreation-oriented. So if you're looking for a community that has biking trails and walking trails and, you know, just this community feel. It's, it's a great community to live in. Condos, townhomes, single family homes, custom, anywhere between 200,000 to a million. Um, their average sales price is 460, 394. Mm-hmm. And the days on market is 49 right now. Okay. And then, and then the lakes is, 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 is right off Sahara, uh, it's between, uh, uh, DI, Sahara, right. Um, Rampart, Durango. There you go. Okay. okay, so one lake, and um, it's a 30-acre private lake called Lake Sahara, mm-hmm. um, surrounded by miles of, again, tree-lined streets, and they actually have eight ponds. Now, those ponds are probably not very deep. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you, and they're like on the, they're like in the medians of the streets sometimes. You can, like, there are circles around their little ponds and stuff. Lots of ducks and... and Lots of geese duck, and geese ducks and, ducks, and yes. flying pigeon poop and everything else. <laughs> just kidding. We're really selling, we're kidding. really selling the, the now, bird excrement here. I, yeah. I, I think that these are two, again, like hidden gems in our city. Absolutely. Right. And when Absolutely. you drive past them, you're like, oh wait, what's this? Especially yeah. people that are not from here. Cause they see grass, tons of grass. Grass is They see uh, green lots of grass. oasis. Yeah. And yeah. it's just, it's a part of Vegas again. Like we have something for everybody. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any of the other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at LV Real Estate Radio. We'll meet you on the radio next Saturday at 11 a.m. right here on the new 101.5 FM 720 AM Kdon, the talk of Las Vegas.